So let's get into tonight's episode of If Loving You Is Wrong. I don't want to be right. Anyway, so this is season three, episode 11, The Porch Light. <laughs> okay, Porch Light. So let's get on into this episode. So it started out with the ladies laughing at Eddie Pitcher. Uh, and Marcy said, I didn't know what Randall was into. <laughs> Nobody knew what was Randall, Randall was into. It was all, but they was all laughing and giggling to Eddie was popping caps off in that, in that couch, had him in there on the good foot like they was James, <laughs> like they was James Brown. Them ladies scattered like roaches all but nosy Marcy. <sighs> Anyway, not nosy, but you know that she did let him in. That's pretty much what the place she was with Natalie. But moving on. Eddie said he gonna body both of them. <laughs> Eddie gonna kill him. He told uh, Larry, go on, go on, tell your wife why you ain't gonna be showing up in the next day or two. I told y'all last episode, Eddie was crazy. So, now, who sent the picture down to the police station. Did Esperanza do that? Because who else done it? The, or, or did uh, Larry and Randall do that? Because the picture was going around the police station to Eddie. So I, I want to know who did it. Who somebody did it. Somebody seen it. But anyway, host Esperanza trying to be low down. Want to be in everybody else's business, but don't want nobody in her uh, business. Gonna try to tell Steven uh, on the download. Don't don't do that in front of my friends. I don't want them to see it. Don't 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 act like that. Don't behave that way. But I'm gonna leave the porch light on for you. If the porch light on, you know you can come by. <laughs> Hold by. Anyway, she want to hook up, regardless of whatever. You he do in front of your friends. You want to hook up, admit you want to hook up, girl. Bye. But Kelly seemed to be coming around and back to her right sisters and out of shock. Thank goodness, because I'm I was. We need her to be all right. But anyway, let's get back on host and runs. So she laid up on the couch, basically damn near trying to be sexy in her little lingerie or whatnot. And y'all know how she do. She one of them that entice a man, try to turn him on, and then say she didn't want it. That's why I don't have no respect for her. Because she'll act like she didn't want it. It was forced on her if, if, he, if, if somebody wants some or something like that. But anyway, so it, she trying to basically tell him to undress slow and all this stuff to a, a switch a uh, uh, strip tease got him up here like he's some kind of love. You know, I'm trying not to cuss, so I can't say the B I T C H word. So we are gonna say twitch in the place of that word. <clears throat> like he's some kind of little twitch. She ain't nothing but a female version of Eddie. <clears throat> she up in here dirty on some fifty fifty grays or fifty shades of gray type stuff. But anyway. Post Steven, because she crazy. She ain't about to even do right. And Brad back to not talking to Marcy anymore, because he don't believe that she didn't go over there and tell Randall that <coughs> Marcy was pregnant by him. If you that insecure, Brad, take one of them little security cameras you got, put it back up on your house, and watch what she was doing. You know, doggone well, Marcy ain't been going over there. Why she gonna wait till y'all get back together and then start running back over there? Boy, bye. You kill me, um, talking about you not gonna play these this little jealousy stuff, but yet you play the little jealousy game with Marcy, so what's the difference? If you not gonna get Marcy together, then how you gonna dog at, uh, Alex out? But anyway, back to host Baranza. So it's time for her to wake. She waking Steven up because she want him to get out of her house for her daughter to wake up and see him. And he going to tell her that that was the best she ever had. She going to lie 
and say, no, it wasn't, no, it wasn't, honey. Yes, it was. If it wasn't, you wouldn't have been leaving the porch on. And her biggest turn on for him, for her with him is because he's not scared of Eddie. Eddie done ran off everybody else, but he can't run off Stevens. So that's just turning her on. So anyway, so Randall answered Larry's phone. Of course, it was Mars, and she didn't even say hello, wait for him to say nothing or whatever. She's just going to immediately say, how could you tell him? That I was pregnant, or so you told him I was pregnant, blah blah blah. So now she done confirmed it that he was that she pregnant. <laughs> but Randall mad at Larry because Larry done lied and basically said, "Oh no, I mean it was something that something that he done through that." And then he, what was he doing? Tucking Larry in down there saying prayers with him. What was he doing? Knit that on the floor by him anyway, that, unless he was just looking for his phone. So anyway. He done got mad at Larry coming there with his little mop bucket of water and pour ice cold water on Larry and told Larry to get out. But anyway, then um, Brad, he ran, he went running over to Marcy house. I think he was going over there to talk to Marcy, but Brad was always sitting out there on the porch. And um, he going to lie on Alice's biggest day that uh, and say he was going to... That Alice came over there that night before. <sighs> That's what she get for letting that lie go on about Lucia. Because now she being lied on. She about to see how I feel. But anyway. that It, it ain't going to last for long. He going to be back up Marcy. But when he find out that she not lying. And Larry. Wants Ian. Of course to quit working for Marcy. And. and hide and bury all the evidence they got against Travis. But did y'all low-key catch that little comment that um, Ian said? Uh, Ian said that Travis was worse than his brother. So they, ma they make a habit of um, stalking people and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I think Ian gonna end up helping Kelly, especially since he know firsthand that Kelly didn't do it and he see what are he doing to Kelly? And then, too, I think he going to help him because now that Travis dead, what money they, the law firm for to be paying the family on his behalf anyway. But because what he doing, it ain't right. Plus, Ian likes Marcy and Kelly is one of Marcy's friends. And I believe he going to help them out because he see they not doing right by them. So that's going to really be good. And I hope he do help him out because I'm just really... So freaking over them. They some buttholes. Because they got rich. Paying them millions and millions to allow folks. And keep their little sport riding kids. From getting arrested. But anyway. It made me upset at the end when they arrested Kelly. Because I knew they was going to arrest her. But I didn't know he was going to die. I did. I will say that I didn't expect for him to die that fast. But. And I still don't think he did. I don't believe he did too. Let me see how will I believe he did. I just have to see it. Him and make sure it's him. I don't even know how because they, you know how TV is, how they be changing that stuff. But anyway, I don't think Travis did. I won't believe it too. I see because they pay too many people. They got too many people on retainer. Too many people know him. They got too many connections. That's why I don't believe he's dead. But anyway, that is all of my review for if loving you is wrong, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button because it's very important that you do. So I can keep providing content. Like, comment, and share. And I'll see y'all in the next video.